Can you guys hear me or is my sound off? I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that I compare Patrick as like a fresh egg that I don't want him to crack, like vulnerable. You always take care of, hold the, the egg. Fragile. When he was young, he always say hi to everybody down in New York where he was born. I remember when Patrick is in pre-K and I bought this nice red winter jacket and when he comes home, he always have something in his pocket, like maybe a crushed cookie or maybe even a leaf that he picked up from the ground and said, Mom, this is for you. He's very thoughtful that way. Patrick is somebody who always thinks of the future. And he's been thinking about a brand since I've started working with him. For him, it goes beyond the product. It's the meaning. One size is just an extension of him as a person. And now people will be able to go ahead and purchase these products, which is coming straight from him. Mom said uh, when I was younger, she was Patrick. Every time uh, we take a picture, people always look at themselves first. I was like, that's kind of funny because I'm a social media person. And I I take pictures, mm -hmm. but somehow, some way, they see themselves in me. They see themselves in the brand. So how can we continue to expand our picture mm -hmm. and allow them to see themselves in us? Mm -hmm. So I think there's a degree of humility within our brand and our, our community that is really inspiring because I illustrate a picture and I cast someone really prominent in their community and somehow thousands of them see themselves in us, not through me, but in us. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to continue that sentiment by taking that picture and making sure we capture as many different people as we can. We are casting people with varying ages, skin tones, ethnicities, body shapes and sizes, making sure that the products that we're all creating together work on all ranges of skin tones. We really have provided that place within the beauty industry where we are walking the walk and talking the talk. What I love about One Size the Most is just how authentic everything is. Patrick himself, just every single product, packaging, all the messaging is just so true to him. And it's so great to work for a founder that it's just authentic. And the team here, the way we develop, the way we carry ourselves is in that same way. And then the product speaks for itself. Everyone who has been influenced to purchase something that I have truly loved, I now have a permanent home for a community where we can connect and we can be family and we stand for something, not just products that we love and that we wear, but each other because of who we are and what we stand for, and that's one size. Let's go to Mickey's character shop. Children, they always see magic because they look for it. Us grown ups, we don't just search for it. We make our own magic. Oh my gosh, we just got an email from Disney. I hear Peter run downstairs and he's, he's, he's panting. He's like, Patrick, look. 
And he goes, he points the phone at me and I look and he goes, dreams come true. And I read it and the subject line says, Disney and one size. It's always been a dream of ours to work with you. And we have some exciting ideas for a brand collaboration. I'd love to connect to discuss the opportunities more if you are interested. So Patrick calls me and he says, I'm gonna need you to sit down. And usually that means one, either there's a big career opportunity or there's some gossip and I'm ready for either of them. So I sit down and he tells me, you're not gonna believe who emailed me. I'm like, okay, who is it? And he said, Disney, and they wanna work together. And I started screaming. I started running around my apartment and he's just, we were just so happy because it was almost as if he manifested it. So on this day, we are gonna manifest that One Size Beauty is gonna have a collaboration with Disney in the future. <laughs> Put it out into the universe, it's gonna come back and it's gonna happen and I can't wait for everybody to be here when that happens. I hope so, I hope so. We are really fortunate at Disney to have the opportunity to think about where can we have the connection between people doing amazing things, making amazing things, and Mickey Mouse. And our collaboration list is something that um, is very, very well thought out and very well timed. We love to pick brands that have a unique voice um, and have a similar ethos to the Walt Disney Company. Um, I think when we find the synergy between a brand and Disney, I think we can then really create a unique uh, as well as an authentic uh, collection that people then can relate to. <laughs> I get chills every time I talk about Disney or Mickey. Um, you know, I grew up in Orange County, which is Disneyland's my backyard. Um, I grew up going to Disney, I had a pass, and I'm a thrill seeker, so I love rides. When I was around probably five or six, um, I definitely remember seeing Mickey at the park, and I did find Mickey and Minnie to be very welcoming. Part of the reason why I moved to Orlando with my family is because my dad promised me, we're gonna take you to Disney every single day. And we're like, okay, yeah, let's go. I've literally gone to Disneyland every year since my niece was six months old. Um, and she's now 18 and about to go into college. And there is just something magical um, about being at Disney. When Patrick was still in the womb of Mama Star, Mama Star is always playing Disney music. Patrick, Sydney, Simonda, Sydney, because I always love Disney. It's like the, the words are just the opposite spelling. When Patrick was about three years old, that was our first trip to Disney, and he was he was really chunky and he's about. 40 pounds, and Papa would always carry him on his shoulder. That's when we brought him to Disney. Ever since Patrick and I were like young, 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 we've always been a fan of not only Mickey, but also the Disney brand. And um, just having Patrick and Paul by my side and also my parents, it's, uh, you know, memories that we created over the years and um, moments where, you know, I could just look back and just remember all the, the amazing times that not only Disney, but also Mickey has uh, brought into our lives. It's sunny, there's music, and it was such a place to just celebrate your dreams. And that was my introduction to, to a world of fantasy. I think makeup is the perfect fit with Disney. At the end of the day, our Disney stories are about transformation and magic, and makeup is really about transformation. We love the idea that artistry is involved in the art form of making makeup and applying makeup, no matter who you are. And the connection to Mickey as art, uh, connection to Mickey Mouse as an inspiration, really ties beautifully with the opportunity to create something that is magical out in the world inspired by Mickey Mouse. I'm about to go on a meeting with Disney. Long time coming. We're here. One minute till the meeting. Oh, it's already time. <laughs> Hurry up, Patrick! <laughs> 
So here we are at our first meeting. I remember I wore a leather jacket with spikes just to feel fabulous. And I wore my turban just like this, full face of makeup. And I'm rushing, rushing, rushing. And we're there. We're there. They go on and I say, hello. Hi, Patrick. Hi, everyone. It's a long time no see. I know. I was just telling the rest of the team. It's like, I never get nervous on this meeting, these meetings. And then they said you were joining. And I got all nervous. Oh my gosh, I think the last time I saw you was at Frozen. Yeah, oh uh, no, Mulan, the red carpet. Mulan, yeah. I remember seeing James at the red carpets. I've been to Frozen, I've been to Lion King, I've been to Mulan, and he's always been there with other beauty brand partnerships. And I was like, oh, there he is across the screen. Um, what's going on? One thing that I'll share about the One Size brand and my creative imagineer process per se is that everything is, is derived uh, from music. So when I look at Disney and when I look at what I'm inspired by and how I want to go about this collection, I think of it kind of backwards where I pick the music first and how can I narrate that. And I was thinking of, you know, per se, Fantasia or the Sorcerer's Apprentice and me and that, just as, a, just as an example. The dun dun, da dun 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 and I go, makeup is a one size fits all. I've been a fan of Patrick's forever and have been following his career for a very long time. And when I heard that he was launching One Size, I finally saw an opportunity of how Disney and Patrick could work together and create something amazing. I am there with having goosebumps. Isn't it? Baby. My legs are like this. I was like, I'm about to cry. This is amazing. So when it was time to start, my head was thumping. Disney was like, you can have any character, we can have any theme. You know, I love to see Patrick as Ursula. Do you want the princesses? Do you want this? And then I sat there in the meeting with my little Minnie Mouse bow and ears, and I go, I would like Mickey Mouse. Our campaigns always involved music, movement, and makeup. And Patrick thought, hmm, Fantasia. There's music with the original score. There's movement through the beautiful animation and the brooms and the stars. And here I am with makeup. I think Fantasia made a lot of sense as the theme for the collection. I think that Fantasia offered us a lot of springboard ideas from the color and the music. And after telling the Disney team and the Mickey Mouse team what I was thinking of, they unlocked the treasure chest. They have such a rich and expansive asset library. This is a quintessential Mickey that is so recognizable. Everyone knows who Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey is. Disney actually let us use the film stills on the secondary. So we did internally treat this with such a level of respect. That really fueled a lot of the decisions in the creation process. Working on the Disney collection. I soon became inspired with the exact Pantones and the colors. They gave us all the Pantones for the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, like his hat, the stars in the moon, the cloak, the cloak lining. Mm -hmm. And when they opened the door to all of the content from the Mickeys and the different type of fonts, and the different type of colors, that's actually what the collection is all based out of. Do you like these? No, I love the broomstick brown. Broomstick brown. It just started to tumble in my brain, having received all this information to make something magical and tangible and real. I think we have a winner. A winner, I think we have our Disney palette. Working with Patrick, he, he is so involved in the creative. He does have an immense amount of knowledge. I think sometimes brand founders are a little more out of touch, but Patrick is so involved in every aspect of the brand because he cares so deeply. So that was the third meeting with Disney. 
This is getting so, so, so real. One size. I am really excited not to just have this with one size in Disney, but ultimately with Sephora. So I'm really, really thankful to have this. Um, right below, there's a picture. I, I took the one size team to Orlando. We had a meeting in Orlando and I think this family was chasing us and they were like, stop, stop. And um, the mom was like, oh my Aww. God. Cute. Um, are you, are, do you do drag? Cause I, I, I was obviously wearing like a skirt and rhinestones and she goes, I've always wanted to show my son um, a man in a dress. And to see the dad pushing the son's cart was like wow. mind blowing. And so I thought it was important and special to share this with all of you That's that, sweet. that the demographic goes beyond what you guys have within your system. And Disney just brought us together in this magical moment. And I hope to continue that with Sephora and hopefully this collaboration can show it's beyond measure what we're creating at one size through community, character, and compassion, so. Sephora has been there through the start. They have been our OG friends from the beginning. The brand was in the process of being established, but it was Patrick's story and history within the beauty space you know, that made us fall in love with him and see that this would be an incredible partnership uh, for years to come. For any brand to be in Sephora, to me, in my eyes, it's official. It's insane. It gives you your street cred in the beauty industry, and we got it. <laughs> When Disney approached us, we were like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. But we also know we wanted to go ahead and reach millions. And we weren't sure if Sephora was gonna go ahead and be part of this journey with us. The first thing that we think of is what is right for our client. Would our client love this? Um, is this something our client would be excited about? And we all agreed that that was definitely a yes. We heard that Sephora would be carrying the collection. We were really excited because we knew that we would be able to deliver this magical collection to even more fans out there. Part of that decision-making process is understanding, should it be in-store, should it be on .com, should it be in both? We made the decision that this product needs to be basically everywhere. So it's approximately 600 locations. All of our Sephoras that are within Kohl's, that's another about 600 locations. All in all, um, over 1,200 stores within North America, of course, on our site, which people from all over the globe could access. So we were very excited to bring it really to everyone. For Disney to be in Sephora was huge. But how do we get there? Now I need to go tell Malaya and Angie, we gotta make thousands more products because Sephora got so excited about this. Having Sephora take this on is super cool and exciting for us, but it does add a little bit of pressure. Obviously the quantities are there and we have to add that timing into the production. So I think that's where it adds a little bit of complexity for us. Creating a collection is hard but creating a collection in a pandemic is something else. If you can see, it's hard, I know, because my lighting, but... It's especially hard with packaging and formula. It's hard to see color on screen. It's hard to see the material, unless you're touching and feeling it. The things that would take us half an hour in person could take up to, you know, four digitally, just because, you know, showing each other packaging, like influencer style, trying to be like, oh, but is the color on Zoom wrong? Is it my screen? Is it your screen? A lot of actually like shipping products back and forth. Um, okay, the package, did you guys get a courier this morning? Yep. Nope. 
most of the team, they're all on the West Coast and I'm over here in New York. So I'm over here designing, but then I wouldn't even see the physical output of that until much later than the rest of the team. Even this interview is actually needing to be done digitally because, you know, traveling just isn't quite as easy as it used to be. A lot of our packaging and the formula itself are produced in two different places. The component could be coming from overseas and either filled here in the U.S. or possibly filled in Italy. So just imagine having to transit all of that. Previously, it used to take about six weeks. Now, the packaging over to the filler, 12 weeks, and then another 12 weeks to get that product back over to our warehouse in the U.S. That in itself is already adding six months. In addition to that, raw materials has added lead times and has been double or triple now as well. It's pretty crazy. We were trying to create this magical fantasy moment of Disney and Mickey, but then still working within the realities of this world. Oh my God. I think the demand of Patrick gets stronger and stronger the more that we come out with things. The social platforms itself demand more content. We need to go ahead and support all of our PD. And Patrick's hands on. He needs and wants to be part of each one of these meetings, making sure that the color's right, that the product is what he envisioned, to make sure that Mickey is looking in the direction that he's hoping that he can look towards, that the logo is placed where he wants it to be, that every word is a message and reflects something of him that he wants to go ahead and be shown. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I'm in New York and uh, I've had like the busiest day today. I did um, PD at a meeting. I had a call. I did a red carpet. I presented. And then I just like the longest day seeing so many samples of makeup and I just don't want to let anybody down and what I'm dealing with is just like my imposter syndrome again like why do why why am I here do I deserve to be here one day I was so worried because he was crying he said there's so many things he wants to do the only thing that I'm worried about him is he doesn't stop working. Sometimes he don't know when to sleep, when to eat. He said, I need it all day because I have work. I have to work. One day he calls me, Peter, like, I don't, I don't feel good. I can't breathe. I, I didn't know what to do. And so he decided that he was going to admit himself into the hospital. You know, Patrick is a strong individual, and to see to see him down is hard because of how strong he is, because of how hardworking he is. I never really saw Patrick in this state. I deal with imposter syndrome every single day of my life. And I think that's why I become Patrick Star because Patrick at the core is so insecure. And that's why I champion makeup because makeup is transformative and it gets to become who I really want to be. But when it's all said and done and I take everything off, I'm like, can I, can I do it without Patrick Star? Can I be me? One day he, he walked out the door, he's like, wow, your makeup is just too loud. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, Patrick, for the things I said, but I want to be there. I want to be there when, when you fall to pick you up and when you wear high heels, I want to be able to, to hold your hand. He is so generous with everyone. The two hours or three hours that meet and greet would actually be about a couple of more hours, more, just to take the time to talk to everybody. He's 
not only thinking about himself but of us. But the love I have for Patrick is something that like I can't really describe but being his younger brother he's just someone that I've always looked up to my entire life. Being a dad I'm learning a lot from my son. I've learned a lot from him. Empathy and loving other people, it's hard to do, but he is a natural. It's so natural and it's magical. It's impossible not to doubt your decisions and for me not to doubt myself because that's me every single day. But with everything pointing to me, I have no choice but to look at my crew and believe in them to get to our destination on this magical journey. Uh, not yet, hold on, what a surprise! Should I open my eye yet? No, not yet. Uh, okay, I can't. Uh, Hello, Patrick. Hello, Two, one. Open? Yeah. Oh. Ah! <laughs> wow! Wow, 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 wow. oh my gosh. It's not final. Can I open it? Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. So oh, proud oh, of oh, you. Open my thing. Oh my gosh. Makeup is a one size fits. Wow! Yeah. I feel like I'm eight years old. Yeah. Holy so we, we, yeah. Yeah. You can open it. And push. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what? How did you guys do that? Magic. Wait, what? Oh my god! You got it already. I hope you're proud of yourself. Thank you. Like. And with everything done, all our products are perfect. I just got off the phone, and it looks like I have to cancel one of the products. Pissed. It's a glitter overall body spray and face spray that has never been done before. Unfortunately, because the glitter itself is coated with titanium dioxide, which um, is technically a Prop 65 chemical, meaning that we would have to include this warning that says that it could cause cancer. We don't want that. We don't want that anywhere near our product, especially if it's on your face, your body, anything. Because of that, we pivoted to a different formula and we were able to achieve the glitter but then that glitter, unfortunately, was clogging the actual packaging. But I'm not gonna put my emotions before what's really right. Not for money, not for profitability. One size is a safe space for me, for you, and for product. And that's who we are through and through. I've worked in beauty for over 10 years and I've never felt that everyone was on the same page like the people and the individuals who work at one size. I think the highlight of working on this collection was nearly the very beginning. We went as a team to Disney and it really opened my eyes how important Disney and Mickey is to everybody that's working on this project at one size. And at the very end, we went to go watch the fireworks show and it really inspired us and it was very emotional to see everybody there and really hear and listen to the music that was being played and how it can inspire not only us, but how can we inspire everybody. Okay. Yes. I absolutely love this collection. I think 
It feels elevated and luxe and completely accessible at the same time. I think the color palette is so recognizable and the way that each of the colors was chosen, it's all in service of telling a story. And so partnering with storytellers to bring a product to life is the best of us in actual physical form. Patrick, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. This is amazing. This looks amazing. <gasps> oh my God. Watching the passion that Patrick holds for Disney in this collaboration has been probably my biggest highlight. His eyes light up and it means more to him than just putting a product on the shelf. There's such a deeper story that he um, plans to tell or is telling as we speak. I used to go to Disney, you know, after school, like just having that moment of like being happy at the parks and you just kind of relive it when you have this collection in front of you. Um, so I think for me, as I'm developing day to day, it's almost like re-experiencing going to the park each day. I see everyone wearing this. Boys, girls, men, women, the LGBTQ plus community, older, younger, everyone. Those moments in your life when you most need a little pickup or you need something, I hope that this gives you that that little uplift that you might want. It's a little bit of magic in a compact. When they see this collection, I hope they see all the hard work we put into it, the quality of the products. But when they use it, I hope they see the magic in themselves. You know, throughout this whole process, Patrick has had this saying, trust, and believe equals magic. And I think the level of trust even we have to have to make this come to life as beautifully as it did was so high. My biggest takeaway from this whole journey is to trust and believe. You have to learn to trust yourself. You have to learn to trust others and believe. And here we are with Disney and Sephora and One Size because all of us trusted in each other and believed in each other. And we're here making magic together. For Patrick, it is definitely a less me and more we. And we work better as a unit now um, than ever before. Everybody stepped it up. And I think Patrick saw that and was able to give full trust to each person to go ahead and do their job in creating magic. The secret to making magic is faith, trust, and a whole lot of pixie dust.